Hey guys, welcome to Scrapping Fancy. Uh, this is Lisa and I'm here today to talk about the foraging journal ensemble that I just listed today in my Etsy shop. So it's a big set and there's a lot to look at. I just want to quick say thank you to new subscribers. I'm really glad you're here. Um, and I also just want to say that I'm just going to try to flip through this today and not worry about if you can see my messy desk. My desk is always messy. I always have 56,000 things and projects and jewelry and bits and everywhere. Um, so I'm not going to worry about it. Um, my desk is a mess, guys. That's life. My life, anyway. Um, so we, I can just be the messy YouTube channel. How about that? I'll, I'll just be the messy one. So let's get some of this out of the way without farther ado, further ado, and let's get started because there's a lot to see. So this is the big journal, and I'll show you the side. Uh, it's just bound with um, hand-dyed seam binding um, because, as you know, I like you to be able to take things apart if you want to, customize, play, uh, whatever you like to do. I don't like to feel like my journals are permanently fixed. Um, I have a hard time working with things that are permanently fixed. Um, this is the top view. Lots of ribbons and clips and bits and bobs and the side view. So the journal started as a hardcover book. So these are um, hardcovers that I took off of a vintage book and then covered. So we're gonna open it. And on the front cover, we have to start a quote from Rilke that says the only journey is the one within. Um, and this is called the foraging journal bundle because I thought about that a lot when I was making this. I mean, yes, there's there's a lot of mushroom imagery, imagery and woodland imagery, but what I thought about a lot was the idea of foraging and how as we go through life, um, we're foraging for certain things, um, things that matter to us, love, happiness, um, for us as creatives, inspiration, um, the things we dream about, um, and I thought a lot about the relationship between outer creation and inner creation and how that sustains us. So foraging is kind of the theme of the journal and you're gonna see that in a lot of the pieces as we're working through it. So on the first page, um, this is just a stitched pocket and one of my clips with lots of interesting fibers on it. Um, I wanted lots of interest in this journal. And there's a mushroom postcard you can journal on the back. And behind that, there's a page from the wonderful and amazing Janet Marsh, one of these wonderful mushroom pages. This isn't a copy, this is the page right out of the book. So um, that is tucked back in back of the pocket for you here. And then that clip just holds everything together and plus just makes it look pretty because kind of decided that I'm kind of a magpie and I like lots of um, bits and bobs and fun stuff everywhere. So that's um, kind of how I wanted this journal to be. So we'll turn the page and this is another pocket page. This is a quote from the graphics fairy that I just cut up and back behind it, there's this page with mushrooms on both sides. You could turn that over, decide which side you like facing out. And you can also, if you would like to, sometimes I have an easier time going from the bottom up. I'm not really sure why that is. But if you would like to, you can put other things behind the pocket. Um, notes, pictures, whatever you like, you can put under that kind of kind of more of a belly band, I guess it is. Um, this page is a piece of chipboard that I covered with this gorgeous handmade paper. Can you see there's a little leaf in there? And then this is another gorgeous piece of handmade paper. And one more gorgeous piece. And then I typed a quote from Rumi on there. Um, it says, there are a thousand ways to kneel and kiss the ground. There are a thousand ways to go home again. And then the back page, this is covered with this fantastic tree image here. I'm almost positive that's from uh, Raindrop Lila on Etsy. 
And then there's also a poem here by Jane Hirschfield. Um, and it, it won't take long. And I think I'm just going to read it because to me it says a lot about uh, foraging and something that we have to remember as we're kind of going on and creating our lives. Um, take the used up heart like a pebble and throw it far out. Soon there is nothing left. Soon the last ripple exhausts itself in the weeds. Returning home, slice carrots, onions, celery. Glaze them in oil before adding the lentils, water, and herbs. Then the roasted chestnuts, a little pepper, the salt. Finish with goat cheese and parsley. Eat. You may do this, I tell you, it is permitted. Begin again the story of your life. I think you can get up in the morning with nothing. Um, you can go out foraging, collect the things you need, come back and sit down and start all over again. And I think you can do that as many times as you want. So this page is, it's a tuck page, but I don't want these things to fall out. So I've got this clip here. And back in here, there's just a couple of little tags I made. Um, this little nature tag with a rusty clip on it and this picture of a mushroom that I stamped on some tracing paper. And then just this little, little guy here with this little handmade paper and a mushroom image. And of course, beads. Um, you have to put beads on everything. I'm pretty sure that that's a law. And that just sits right in there like that. We'll turn the page and we've got another mushroom image. And under here, I've just got a book page about mushrooms that I printed on some, um, I think it's tracing paper, some really cool, soft, um, thin paper. And this is a pocket page that I sewed so it's a sewed page and there's a little folder in here. You could write on the inside if you wanted to. And then there's this little mushroom tag on watercolor paper. Um, I print almost all the time now on water paper. I can't, um, I can't get over how it looks, so I can't go back to regular paper. And there's one of my, I don't know if you can see it. Let me see. Oh, sort of. Okay. There's one of my fiber clips up here. And then there's, um, we'll take it off. And then in here, there's a, a mushroom image that I printed on an old blank book page. I love the way that looks. See, I've been doing all this kind of printing on vintage pages and watercolor paper, and now I'm I'm ruined forever for copy paper. I just cannot do it anymore. So we'll get that clip on with the fiber. And the next page is, it's just a little side tuck page with stitching, a clip and a bead. And then in here, there's one of those um, mushroom little folder things again that you could use for journaling on the inside if you wanted to. This page is a big tag on this fantastic like rippled handmade paper. It's just fantastic paper and a watercolor tag. And then I did some typing on handmade paper, a poem by Rilke and I swear to God, I won't make you listen to me read that one. Okay. We read one, we'll be good. And that goes under this paper clip that has this um, awesome kind of bronzy bead on it. I love that bead. I don't have any more of those. I wish I did. And this, some of this awesome fiber on top. Um, oops, I think I missed a page. Yep, I sure did. So on the back, this is just, um, oh, I missed two pages. Look at that. On the back, this is one of those cool, like, pictures of mushroom species. And this is another one of those awesome quotes from the graphics fairy that you can just cut apart. So I put that on there. This is a stitched pocket page and in here there's kind of a little um, slide frame 
tag with some handmade paper on the back fits right into the pocket. The next page is a side tuck again that I sewed and there's a mushroom piece or a mushroom image on here and a quote from Walt Whitman that I typed on handmade paper that says, and as for me, I know nothing but miracles. And that sits right in that little tag pocket or little um, side tuck. Uh, this is a belly band. This is some um, mushroom washi I had that I'm obsessed with. I think it's gorgeous. And then I just made a tag that goes underneath that band. There's room under the band. You can put more stuff in there. So have at it. You can change it however you want. Uh, this page is a frame page. It's got a book page in here. This is a wooden embellishment that I coffee stained. Quote from Emily Dickinson. The next page also has um, a wooden embellishment. I liked the two next to each other, dream and light, dream light. I don't know, I just liked that. And a pocket page. And there's a mushroom image in here on handmade paper and you could write on the back here if you'd like to. Not all those who wander are lost, only the lucky ones. Um, this is a mushroom image that I put in this frame. Behind, behind it, there's a tag that you can pull out with a mushroom charm on it. And I put another little mushroom image on the back of the tag, which is stitched. And that just lives right in here. But I liked the charm kind of hanging out on top of the other image. This is a fabulous doily envelope page with one of the paperclip tassels that I like to make. And this one's got beads and a wooden little word charm that says magic. And if you pull this open, there is some ephemera in here for you. I'm not going to take it out because you have to be extremely careful when you move things around in these cool doily envelopes because if you don't want to get it stuck and tear it. So I'll show you that it's in there, but I will uh, leave that for the owner to discover. Got to leave some surprises, right, for the person who's going to get it. And on this page, there's a poem, or I guess it's a quote, a quote from Henry David Thoreau. This is a big kind of a collage pocket page. Paperclip bead charm thingy on here. And inside the pocket, there's mushroom picture on watercolor paper. And of course, there's more room in here. You can put anything you want in the pocket page. And this is uh, wooden and so is this. Or no, actually the mushroom might be heavy chipboard. Always when I'm on YouTube, I'm having an issue with something. It's just my life, guys. Hang in there with me for a second. the how did I get this all turned around so special and there we go feed tassel back in place that really doesn't need to be held in there it's not going to fall I just thought it was pretty and here's the other side of it this is one I love to fold those um, big pages into big envelopes that you can put lots of stuff in. So let's take this apart so you can see it. I've got this typed quote on here from W.S. Merwin that's one of my favorites. 
um, the ubiquitous paperclip tassel. And then inside, this just fell because I took the clip off. So let's put that back together. There's a picture of a mushroom and a label. And that clip was holding that. And that's the, um, that kind of the peaky part of the envelope. And the envelope opens and here there's a quote from Camille Pissarro. And on the back of the envelope, there's this big mushroom book page, another mushroom book page and a mushroom envelope or a, a little mushroom image, and these are all held in the envelope by this little charm with the beads on it right here. And then this just closes. The little, that, um, this has this little peaked part folds over and tucks, so it helps hold stuff in. And then our WS Merwin quote goes right back on. I'm gonna just check my how I am in frame. Okay, not too bad. So the next page is a little pocket that I sewed, a little clip and a little um, wooden charm. And there's a tag in here. Um, not until we are lost do we begin to understand ourselves, um, which is what I meant when uh, I read the other quote that said, not all who wander are lost. And I said, yeah, only the lucky ones. Um, that's why. Only when we're lost uh, do we begin to understand ourselves. It's all in how you find your way back. And this is a stitched pocket page again. Um, I've got a rusty pin with some charms on it. A mushroom picture. And I like it tucked under that so that the quote you can read that the gladdest thing I love that it makes me think of um I will be the gladdest thing under the sun I will touch a hundred flowers and not pick one um there's a quote here from Margaret Atwood and in this little part there's a little plant label you could make little notes on that and a little miniature little mushroom book cover there's a little bit of handmade paper on the back of that if you wanted to to write on it. There's that. And this is just a tuck spot. And I put in here a picture from Edith Holden. Um, this is the real book page. I just pulled it out. So that's a real Edith Holden book page. Frame page and another one of those graphic fairies, graphics fairy quote pages. Um, you buy it, it's all these quotes, and you can cut them all apart. It's awesome. This page is a book page about mushrooms in French. And then this is one of the paperclip tassels that I love to make. This one's got vintage button and a little wooden piece. Um, it's got a mushroom charm. It's got this Tim Holtz piece that says wonderful. It's got a fabric word. It's got all kinds of beads and it's just right there on top of that book page. I really liked the way that looked that I was happy about that. This is a half page and it's a heavy chipboard and I've got um, one of my wooden words on here that I coffee stained rusty clip and beads. And on the other side, there's a mushroom image with another word that I coffee stained. And an envelope here, all the magic began. And it begins again and again and again. That you never have to worry about. There's a mushroom image in here you can write on the back. That's on a vintage book page. So it's not like plain white on the back or anything. It's vintage book page on the back too. Um, this is a tag that I made that's in here that says the book of delight. You could write on the back. That part of the um, pocket's kind of like a belly band. And then there's just a little specimen label over here from Tracy Fox on Love Junk Journals. Did I miss any? Nope. This is um, another little tuck spot page. This is a uh, mushroom Polaroid. It says, we exist in moments. 
just one life there's a little charm there that says that and under the charm there's this mushroom image and a mushroom a page about types of mushrooms this page is this gorgeous i do mean stunning edith holden page and this was a quote about mushrooms that was with this page but i cut it out and stuck it on so it would all because it was on the other side um, there's a clip here and then um, so what I did here is I just this page is folded over and if you take the clip off the Edith Holden page will come there's also um, an Edith Holden page about mushrooms that I folded over so it's folded over the next page and then it kind of made this a pocket so there's some goodies in here under that Edith Holden page I'm just going to take that off and do this right. Let's sit under here. I kind of wanted that showing at least a little. And I did, I put a clip here just to make sure those wouldn't kind of fall out the bottom. And then another Polaroid that I typed on. Um, one thing I love to do, and I haven't done it for a while, um, is to make bingo card collages. So I have a bingo card in here with a mushroom collage on it and a mushroom collage on this side too that says Wonderland. I love to do that. I need to get back into doing that. And this page is on some awesome um, handmade Lokta paper. I love Lokta paper. There's a picture here and a quote from C.S. Lewis. And then on this page, there's this picture of a mushroom that says inside all of us is a wild thing and tucked under here. This is a page from a garden and forest manual that actually I'll show you has um, the page I picked was all about mushrooms. So that's kind of fun. And that's just tucked. Easier said than done. tucked underneath the picture. And now the deal with all of these tuck spots, of course, is that you can change up what's under there. It doesn't have to stay there. You can put more under there. You can do whatever you want, okay? This is the cover, the back cover. So that's the inside of the back cover that says, today I choose to believe. And then we're at the end of the big journal. So there's the big journal. So let's take a quick look at all the stuff that comes with it, okay? So you know what you're gonna get. This is the ephemera folder. We'll untie it. There's one of my stitch pockets. This is just a folder out of cotton rag. This is one of my pockets. It's not attached by anything except the paper clip so that you can take that pocket off and use it anywhere you want it to. And in here we have another mushroom image for you. The ephemera is getting excited. It wants to come out. <laughs> so we'll open it up. And there's a big tag on the front page that says, Emily Dickinson quote, that's one of my favorites. I am out with lanterns looking for myself. It's the essence of foraging right there, if you ask me. And on the other page, there's two tags that I made. The place to begin and after heavy rain. There's a layered tag with um, cotton rag and handmade paper tucked away in the mossy woods waiting to be discovered. There's a um, kind of a slide tag on cotton rag. And then there's some glassine bags that I made um, that are full of ephemera for you that live in the little little bags you can do whatever you want to with those and there's three of them this one mushroom ephemera in here as well and that one says magical this one says it's kind of small but it says all things bright and beautiful and that envelope opens from the side and there's a mushroom image in there
goes in there just like that. Then there's two envelopes that I made with um, some mushroom wax seals. And in each envelope, there's a mushroom piece, piece of mushroom ephemera. And of course you can put more stuff in the envelope, change what's in the envelope, anything that you would like to do. And on the back cover, there's another tag. So we'll just pick this up, set it to the side. And one of the other pieces that I created, and I don't know if I'll ever do it again, so this is potentially one of a kind. This began life as a Tim Holtz uh, chipboard folio. Literally, it was it's just it was just plain brown chipboard, and I of course got the brilliant idea that I was going to cover it, which I did. Um, almost started some bad habits when I was covering it, but I managed it. So it's all covered with um, handmade paper, so it does have nice texture. We've got some muslin over the side, and this is what the back looks like. There's um, this old piece of music on the back, and then a little mushroom piece. This is um, glued on, but you can take the clip off and then take that out if you want to. And then that just is living right there. So you can use that little piece if you want to. So the way you do this is um, you take the clip off that of course has beads on it. Untie the ribbon. And the ribbon stays attached. I just put it through a hole in the folio. This is a pocket, so this can come out. There's plenty of room for more stuff in that pocket if you want. And you could make your own notes on this field entry label. I thought you might like to do that. And it's incredibly sturdy, so it opens up. And this is a side tuck pocket that I made. And there's, you see that? Yep. Mushroom image. Old book page that are in this first tuck spot, and then this mushroom image printed on handmade paper that says I typed up here the Wonderland surrounding that goes in here with these things. These are two, these flaps were part of the folio, but I covered the fronts with glassine envelopes. So you open the envelope, and in the envelope, there really is, I swear, well, for heaven's sakes, in the envelope, there's a piece of ephemera that I printed on vellum. So it's this lovely translucent image. I think that's why it was hard to get out because of the vellum. And that's hold on with this little paper clip. I couldn't get too fancy with the clips on the inside or the folio wouldn't have closed very well. And it's the same thing over here. So I'm not gonna take that out again, but there's another one of those vellum images in there. And there's some cool vintagey looking, I don't know if you can see them, some vintagey looking mushroom images clipped on. And this, this construction was part of the folio, this flippy thing that's in here. So in the flippy thing, I've got three tags, all with mushrooms on them, and you could write on the back. In the first part of this little flippy thing that Timmy had in here. And that's going to lift. And there's this embossed old French page and I embossed it with a frame and put a mushroom on the inside of the frame. And then a book page about mushrooms you could journal on the back. So that little folio thingy just shuts like that. These fold in, this folds over, and then this. And before you tie it, I'd recommend putting the clip thing on because um, it's such sturdy chipboard, it wants to just flip back. 
So if you don't do that, it's going to be like a little bit frustrating. So the clip sits here. I can't make that bulb pin do what I want it to do. I wish that bulb pins would stay where you put them, like hang the way you want them to. And then we'll just, this just pulls tight. And I'm not going to make you watch me tie a bow. I'll just tie that later. And then once you've tied it, you can just clip the bead back on. So we'll set that aside. What do we have to look at next? Oh, the specimen folder, I think. This is a little specimen folder I made, also out of um, a little piece of chipboard. Super cute. On uh, the front, this actually says, Fungi collected in Shropshire, Shropshire, I'm not sure how you say that correctly, and other neighborhoods. And if you open it up, it's just like a little specimen folder. And all these pieces just pull out. And some little labels and the back just looks like that and it says field diary and of course you can put more stuff in there change it up whatever you want to do um, this is just a little packet that I made of slides so there's this little tiny cutie on the front so tiny I don't know if you can see that and then in the packet there's more slides that I made you could add those in wherever you wanted. Keep them in the packet and tuck them in somewhere, however, whatever you want to do with them. And this guy and his little clip friend just hold it shut. So that's the slide packet. You guys, I think we're on the last thing. And the last thing are some extra paper clip tassels that I made. So there's five of them. All five of them have fabric words. Each of them has a mushroom bezel that I made. I used a little crackle stuff to make them look crackly. Each of them has a big one and a small one. And the small one are in the small ones are in some little bezels that I rusted. So there's just a ton of fibers, beads, mushroom charms, all dangling from rusty paper clips that you can clip on anywhere you want. Um, but the paper clips, what I really like about the paper clips is that the sky's the limit. There's um, copper chain pieces on here, a bunch of fibers, coffee dyed ribbon, coffee dyed lace, um, the bezel charms, um, the fabric words are held on with some little tiny rusty safety pins. So I think that little set is really fun and I think you'll have a really fun time with that. So that's the set, you guys, and it's listed in my Etsy shop right now. Um, thanks so much for listening to me, um, putting up with me, fumbling, and with my messy desk. Thanks, you guys. Blessings to all of you. Bye.